times the world can seem an unfriendly and sinister place. But believe us when we say that there is much more good in it than bad. And what might seem to be a series of unfortunate events may, in fact, be the first steps of a journey. Our journey begins here, at the home of our new guardian. Hello, hello, hello. I am your beloved Count Olaf. Three orphans. My dear. Violet. An unscrupulous guardian. All I ask is that you do each and every little thing that pops into my head. While I enjoy the enormous fortune your parents left behind. We're very concerned. This Christmas, based on the series of best-selling books, you're invited to discover... This way, to the reptile room. Whoa. A world built by imagination, ruled by invention, and strung together by a series of unfortunate events. Paramount Pictures and DreamWorks Pictures present Jim Carrey, Jim Carrey, Jim Carrey. And then the unthinkable happened. Now that we're family, I can be the ultimate dad. Lemony Snicket's A Series of Unfortunate Events. We have a new student with us. She just moved here from Africa. Welcome. I'm from Michigan. Great. I'm 16, but until today, I was homeschooled. And then it was goodbye, Africa. And hello, high school. Hi, I'm Katie. I'm Janice. This is Damien. Watch out, new meat coming through. This map shows the school's central nervous system, the cafeteria. You got your cool Asians, burnouts, jocks, the greatest people you will ever meet, and the worst. So you've never been to a real school before? Shut up. Shut up! I didn't say anything. Plastics. Who are the plastics? They're team royalty. That's Karen Smith. She is one of the dumbest girls you will ever meet. I'm kind of psychic. Really? It's like I have ESPN or something. Gretchen Wieners. She has two Fendi purses and a silver Lexus. And evil takes a human form in Regina George. She knows everything about everyone. That's why her hair is so big. It's full of secrets. We want to invite you to have lunch with us. Regina seems sweet. Get in, loser. We're going shopping. Your house is really nice. I know, right? Being with the plastics was like leaving the actual world. <laughs> and entering girl world. Have you seen any guys that you think are cute yet? There's this guy in my calculus class. His name's Aaron Samuel. <gasps> no, no. That's Regina's ex-boyfriend. Ex-boyfriends are off limits. I mean, that's just like the rules of feminism. <laughs> Gretchen told me that you like Aaron Samuels. I could talk to him for you if you want. Really? You would do that? You want it. You're so hot. <gasps> Why would she do that? She's a life ruiner. I knew how this would be settled in the animal world. <laughs> But this was girl world. All the fighting had to be sneaky. I want to lose three pounds. There are these nutrition bars my mom uses to lose weight. It won't close. It's a five. You could try Sears. Uh-uh. Why are you eating a Caltein bar? What? They make you gain weight like crazy. Who does she think she is? I, like, invented her. I'm sorry I laughed at you. I'm sorry I called you fat. I'm sorry that people are so jealous of me, but I can't help it that I'm popular. Walk it off! Walk it off! Okay. You know who's looking fine tonight? Seth Mosikowski. He is your cousin. What? He's a good kisser. Secret Central. Have you heard? Hasbro's Secret Central is coming to DVD and VHS in a brand new live action adventure. Secret Central. All the fun and excitement comes to life at Secret Central High with the all new class of 2005. Secret Central. Have you heard? So get in the know and meet your favorite classmates. Find out who's kicking it on the soccer team. Who's wearing the coolest clothes? Who's going to prom? The prom's the biggest night of their lives. And who's got a crush on who? Secret Central. It's all happening real soon when Secret Central comes to DVD and VHS. So check out SecretCentral.com for all the 411. Don't forget to get your parents' permission. Secret Central. Now you know. Secret.
Taking the battle of the band seriously this year. Good, because I need the money. You're out. You know what? I'm gonna form my own band, and we are gonna start a revolution. Come on, man. One show, twenty thousand dollar prize. I mean, don't you miss rocking out? Maybe it's time to give up those dreams. I did, and things aren't going really great for me. Temping. I'm not a temp. I'm a sub, and soon I'll be a certified teacher. Is this Mr. Schneebly? I'm the principal here at Horace Green Prep, and we need somebody to start immediately. So how much are we talking here? Six fifty a week. Hello, this is Ned Schneebly. Everyone, I'd like to introduce Mr. Schneebly. All right, look, I've got a hangover. Who knows what that means? Doesn't that mean you're drunk? No, it means I was drunk yesterday. I heard you in music class. You guys can really play. Why didn't anyone tell me? I think it's time we started our new class project. Rock band. Can we tell our parents? No. Lead guitar, Zach Attack. On bass, Posh Spice. Keyboards, Mr. Cool. Drums, Spazzy McGee. You three groupies. So who do you like? Christina Aguilera. No. Puff Daddy. Wrong. Liza Minnelli. No. What are they teaching this place? We have a red alert. It's Mullen. To your positions. E equals M C squared. Oh. If from now on you could just stick to the curriculum. Is she always like that? Except for the time she got drunk. She did a Stevie Nicks impersonation. <laughs> I love this song, Stevie Nicks. You know what? I would love to take the kids to a concert. But you guys have a policy about field trips. Maybe we can make an exception. Yes. Ooh, baby. Ooh, ooh. Paramount Pictures presents. I don't think I can sing. They're going to laugh at me. You've got something everybody wants. You've got talent. The story of a man who gave a class the power to break the rules. Who are they? They're my band. I know they're kids, but they're awesome. Just listen. And the inspiration. I pledge allegiance to the band. <laughs> to rock. And if you ever be a teacher, Jack Black. <laughs> the School of Rock. I can sing. All right, Summer, belt it. Memory all alone in the moonlight. Stop. So okay, good. All right. If it takes 15 people eight hours to make 100 items, how many hours will it take six people working at the same rate to make half as many items? Dude, it's like impossible. Three little letters. You found on 11.40? This is as bad as me, man. What'd you tell your parents? I lied. You've never been so proud, son. Do good. 143, that's what I scored. It can define your status. Did you see my dad's truck in the driveway? It says Matthews and Son Septic on it. If I don't get into Maryland, my life is shit. It can change your life. You need a 900 on the SAT. And completely. What if I mess it up again? You won't. We're very proud of you, honey. Stress you out. Time! <coughs> I was gonna go to class before I got... <laughs> Six different students. Now, maybe we thought this was bigger than us one on one, but there's no way it's going to beat all of us together. With six different dreams. Maybe we should all say exactly why we're here. The SAT is racist. What? Who created the test? Rich white guys. Who scored the highest on the test? Asian chicks. <laughs> Middle class Asian girls who watch less than an hour of television a day. And one last shot at the perfect score. I have an idea. You want to steal the answers to the test. <laughs> A lot of kids struggle with the SAT. That doesn't justify thievery. I've never really done anything. I mean, I've never broken curfew. I've never cut class, and I've never made out on a rooftop. <clears throat> well, there goes my buzz. These people, they're messing with the rest of our lives. Could you fetch me that mail, mail boy? OK. If you could be anything you wanted to be, what would you be? <laughs> what did you say, Maddie? Porn star. <laughs> Just happy. 
No matter what happens, when you get out of that room, you're still gonna be you, man. Well, Tessa's gonna change that. <laughs> You've assembled a crack team, Chief. <laughs> Pleased to bring you our feature presentation. Thanks for helping out this summer. Have a great year at school, Paige.